Hey guys, David Case here with uh, Casey Scapes. Um, uh, this video, I'm, I had a question that was asked of um, that was asked to me on one of my channels, and um, basically it was he was asking about if he should get a new mower. He said most of his yards are around twenty five dollars, and um, and, uh, and and they I think he said they're around his house or something like that. But um, he was wondering if he should go out and buy a brand new mower. And um, I'm going to be honest in this video. And uh, my answer to that is no. I do not think you should go out and buy a new mower. And it's not just because the yards are at $25 each, a piece either. Um, that is one factor I, I do. I think, I think you are worth a lot more than what I think you think you're worth. Um, because this is not easy work out here. And, and and that is my advice to anybody and everybody that is charging um, um, very little to do lawn work. Because you do, you, even though the yards are right around your house, you still have an expense. Uh, you still have wear and tear. You still have a trailer you have to buy. You still have a truck that you have to put gas in and a truck that you have to drive and you got tires on that too um, and I mentioned that in another video I'm pretty sure but um, so I'm not gonna get really involved in that but I'm gonna say and this is my this is what I do I'm a, um, I'm, a I'm a small company um, I have quite a few accounts but I can tell you right now I do not go out and buy brand new motors anymore um, I will not go out and buy a brand new mower, um, even though I'm pulling in between twelve, between twelve and thirty thousand dollars a month, depending on how many installs I have, and on my maintenance in, I'm pulling in um, almost around twelve thousand, and it ranges from between twelve and fifteen a month of what I'm bringing in strictly on my maintenance end, and I can tell you right now that. I do not and I will not go out and buy a brand new mower anymore. The reason, they advertise these mowers and I'm not gonna give a brand, but they say 0% financing for 36 months or 0% for 48, same as cash. You should not be buying a mower that's going to take you 36 or 48 months to pay off. Um, my last brand new mower was an X Mark. And that was, oh gosh, I don't know how many years ago it was. I want to say it was probably back in 2008 is when I bought my mower. And it was a 48. And I'm saying the last brand new mower I've bought. I've bought plenty of other mowers since then. But it was an X Mark 48, and I paid out the door for it $5,600. Now, if you go today and you look at a brand new 48 inch mower, they're not no 5,600 bucks. The medium grade one is which one I have. Uh, X Mark, they have packages. They have a low package, a medium package, and, and that, that high end package that has that really nice air ride seat on it. Um, but uh, I mean, they're ranging between now. I think the, I think the last time I looked at one, I think it was eleven thousand five hundred bucks. And shoot, I, I will not buy eleven thousand five hundred dollar mower. Not to go out and cut. A yard for two hundred dollars a month, or two hundred and fifty dollars a month, or or anything like that. It's just going to take you way. Too, and I'm rambling on. I know. It's just going to take you way too long to pay off that mower. What I recommend you do is go out, find you yourself a good used machine, and there are plenty of good used machines out there. Um, I do all my own maintenance on everything I do. Um, that saves me a lot of money. I've been doing that my entire business career is doing my own maintenance so I, I recommend if it, you do your if you don't know how to do it learn how to do it because it's simple um, now if you have to go in and rebuild an engine yeah take it to the shop I don't care 
um, it, 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 especially if you're not experienced in doing it. But oil changes, hydraulic changes, and stuff like that, do it yourself. Don't pay anybody to sharpen your own blades. Go out, go out to Harbor Freight, get you a $25 or a $35 grinder, and start grinding your own blades. But um, but save your save yourself money. But as far as buying a new mower at at, at, at that cost and and and, and doing it at $25, $35 a yard. Um, really, I don't, and, and I think he, he said something like this would be his only, his only, um, expense. Um, but in actuality and, and, and at the end of the day, it's really not your only expense because you have to factor in all of those other expenses on top of that. That's just an additional expense that you're having to do is that monthly payment that feels like it never goes away. You watch your hours on your machine go up. You start doing the maintenance and you're thinking, gosh, when is this payment ever going to end? And you look at it and you're only halfway done with it. So, so as far as as far as uh, these mowers, I could tell you right now, I, I don't I, like I said before, I do not go out and buy new mowers even at my uh, in my business. Um, stick to used. Also, I'm going to say it again. I said it at the very beginning of the video. You are worth more than what you're charging. And a um, um, I, I listened to a video and I completely agree with him. Um, I'm trying to, I think, I'm going to give him a shout out. His, I think his YouTube channel is called Grass Monkey. And um, he just did a video <coughs> about biggest mistakes on, on his first year in business. And I completely agree with him 100% on, on an aspect starting your business and charging too low of a price because that is going to get your reputation in the wrong direction and if you've watched my videos if you've seen the first one that I put out I told you that in my business career I have ran a successful business and I have lost a business in the same field and I can tell you right now, I, I never went bankrupt, but I was so close, I decided to shut that one down and restart again with a new name, a new image, a new logo, because my prices were too low and I literally put myself out of that business. So I started again and I redid everything and I took what I learned and I gosh I wish YouTube was was like it was when I started my business because I I would not have had to learn that the hard way um, I could have listened to these videos and I could have I could have I could have basically learned from other people's mistakes but I learned from my own but definitely raise your prices get to industry standards um, because if you don't, you're going to get that reputation that, hey, go to this guy because this guy is the cheapest guy and he does excellent work. So, so again, you're worth more than what you're charging and this is not an easy job. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to, uh, to comment. Um, if you have any video requests, please um, send those through as well. Um, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, um, I, I have a lot more videos coming out. So, uh, again, um, David Casey with Caseyscapes. And I hope this helped with, the, with your question um, that, you, that you needed. So, again, David Casey with Caseyscapes. I hope you have a wonderful day.